in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed quickly encounter with the word of god it will never tire me to teach you this you have to learn it the third foundational encounter you must have superior to all other encounters is an encounter with the word of god please look at me if you are not sound in scripture you see deception will be the devil will take you for a ride you have to be sound in scripture encounter with the word of god what is the word of god the word of god is a compendium of the mysteries of the kingdom god's modus operandi the word of god reveals number one god's character number two the word of god reveals how god operates when you encounter the word of god you know how god operates and you know how he does not operate there is a way the God of the Bible never operates, never operates, never operates. Most believers are not sound in scripture. That's why it's easy to fall into the trap of deception. The devil comes and markets all kinds of lies and just sways us like that. Listen, in this end time, we need high level illumination, knowledge of God's word to know what to do. There are people who have no business relocating abroad, but because they do not understand the character of scripture, someone just tells you, I want to lift you. You have to go back to that encounter. How does God lift? The things that are written aforetime, the Bible says, they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope. Many things that we have called greener pastures are not greener pastures. Greener pastures is the word of God. You see that? I'm not saying there's anything wrong having all these experiences, but the word of God must be your guide. Can I tell you this? As powerful as supernatural encounters are, if you start ministry just because you saw a vision, you will suffer as if it's not God that called you. There are people today who are frustrated and sometimes sincere people, when they come, they say, Apostle, I can't understand. They will show me a documentation of their vision and i know truly that vision came from god but it is the principle of scripture that controls your success the visions are only support systems to help guide your conviction when jesus came and walked upon the earth he, is it not heaven that he came from why did he need to learn scripture why would you come from heaven through the womb of a woman and submit yourself to the learning of scripture from heaven jesus did not come from the realm of the spirit he came directly from heaven not even heaven from the throne he came to the earth and submitted himself to this encounter so when satan came he didn't say satan you are stupid you forgot i am god he said it is written he had a right to say i hope you know i am god satan i know this is you my discernment is still in place the holy ghost is in me leave this place no he wanted us to learn so he said it is written for every temptation the devil brought jesus did not use his encounters for defense he used scriptures it is written you don't tell the devil you are joking god called me that is nonsense the realm of the spirit does not care what has the bible said as your system of defense I can never fail why I know what I saw you are the only one who saw it the realm of the spirit is asking you why should we stop oppressing you 
I saw a vision. In that vision, I saw a plant and it was bringing oranges. That's a vision, my brothers and my sisters. What will give you fruitfulness is it is written. I had many visions about Koinonia in Abuja. I would have been surprised and shocked, disappointed and frustrated if it was the only thing. If I placed my vision on a billboard with my name written, Hello Abuja, I am Joshua Selman. It happened on a Thursday night when I was sleeping. I saw the heavens open and I saw the map of Abuja. <laughs> you just laugh and say all these stupid people. Listen to me. This ministry thrives not just because of visions. The visions benefit us and add to our convictions. But everything works because it is written. One more time, shout it. Say, it is written. One more time, say, it is written. That means anything you tell me that is not consistent with what is written, I can change it. Because this foundational encounter is greater than any other encounter. A genuine man of God, even if it's me, I can look at you and say that based on the vision I'm seeing, I saw an obituary. This is the reason why you see many times when I prophesy to people, I tell them what I saw, but I'm quick to tell them, no, 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 I'm not a prophet of doom. We have this encounter also. We have the power based on what is written to veto whatever it is that we have seen. This is what brings perspective to the, orchestra, the operation of the prophetic. Imagine that you come and I leave you. I say, ah, you came for Koinonia. I don't know what brought you here today. Because with what I'm seeing, I saw a coffin. May God show you mercy. No, I didn't, I didn't know. Koinonia, why do you think you are going to succeed in life? Why do you think you will see the end of this year? listen 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 why do you think the dream you saw you saw them dragging your trouser and your primary school in that dream why do you think you will still succeed in spite of it listen to me it was written so that it cannot be changed I believe this no matter what my eye sees no matter what my ears hear no matter what encounters I have I only believe those encounters if I find them consistent with what is written if that encounter is not consistent with what is written I use what is written to change that encounter listen this looks like I'm just joking with you. If you don't learn this, you will live a defeated Christian life. Having visions and you'll never succeed. This is the reason why many people have notebooks full of visions. And there is no, there is no progress in their lives. Because they ignore this. They throw it away. And they begin to move according to what I saw. I saw, um, what's today's date? I saw 15th of August. And then I saw dollars. That's a vision. That will not give you favor. It may be that God is telling you through that similitude that I want to bless you. But whether it will happen or not depends on it is written. What you do with that vision is you now open your scripture. And you now find scriptures that are consistent with that vision. That vision now supports your confidence. But the real producer of the results is not what you saw. It's, it is written. One more time shout it. It is If I didn't believe this, I would have died since. Since I would have died since. You don't know the kinds of visions. You know, as a man of God, people send you all kinds of things. I've had well-meaning people send me text messages. Apostle, be careful. I saw a ghastly motor accident. And they are not wrong. Some of them are accurate prophets of God. I'm not, this is not sarcasm. Sincere people. And I know that was the plan of the devil. So when you wake up in the morning and you have a dream 
don't wait for miracle service no open your bible and let it is written collide with that vision listen what i'm teaching you will give you confidence so that you are not you, you don't you don't become a victim it's good to be blessed by men of god but be careful so that we don't turn you into spiritual slaves we are supposed to help you not trap you this is it you need this more than joshua selman can i tell you if you pay attention to this even more than joshua selman you will succeed this predates my arrival here many have come and gone this remains written many have said many things and have had to cancel it many people have made prophetic statements and how to honorably withdraw it but this has not been changed third foundational encounter encounter with the word of god is an indoctrination this is the reason why my spiritual experiences profit me and they profit the body because i will never exalt any vision i see no matter how many days fasting no matter what it is if a demon spirit appears to me right now the first thing is i'm going to why is it there you see if it's there to oppress me it is written can take care of it if God is trying to send a message to me for the body of Christ I would discern the message when I'm done the demon will go but your confidence is it is written yeah though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil why because thou art with me listen thy rod and thy staff that's what comforts me thy rod and thy staff thy rod and thy staff so I want you to, if you don't know what is written, it means you are in trouble. Imagine if Jesus did not know what was written. And Satan says, turn this stone into bread. He says, don't disturb me, I am Jesus. You'll be surprised, Satan will still be standing there. That's why he has not left your life. Because when you came to him, he said, I'm a member of Koinonia. He said, nonsense, what is that? What is you a member of Koinonia? Before you were born, I knew about Koinonia, I was in heaven. What is the basis? Why should I leave you? okay what else do i say now listen why should you rise in life apostle declared over me you are joking apostle declared according to what i prophesied but i did as i was commanded i didn't prophesy as i wanted John said, I am the voice. It is not the voice that brings the power. It is the word that the voice is echoing. Are we together now? Please learn what I'm telling you. Some of you, by this, there are papers you need to go back home and tear into pieces and sit with confidence and sleep like a baby and wake up. It is written. It is written. My 2021 is blessed. It is written. It is written. It is written. Is written why do you think you'll be exempted from all the limitations that come ah, I am a member of koinonia that that is wonderful when you understand it to be that I am prophetically connected based on what the Bible says but if it's just blindly I'm a member of koinonia you will you will be surprised I'm saying this because there are many believers who do not have a scriptural basis for confidence Satan, leave me alone. Why? I know Apostle Joshua Selman and the demon who say, Jesus, I know. Me too, I know Jesus. Me too, I know Paul. Me too, I know Joshua Selman. You have to stand and say, you better know me too. It is written. Register it in the realm of the spirit that it is written. This is why I know that I will never fail in life. Thank God for the many visions that I have. 
but depending on those visions for success is deception the visions are only guides they are support systems i tell you the truth by the god of heaven the basis for the victory of my life the basis for the victory of this ministry is this immutable counsel of god it is written it is written it is written So when I tell you, you will rise, say amen, but don't just go back and say I will rise, no. When I say you will rise, quickly resort to this foundational encounter. Find the scriptures that support what I said, then you will rise indeed. But if you just believe that just because I spoke to you, no. Are you seeing the balance now? This is why many of you do not profit from the prophetic ministry. The prophetic ministry is not fake. It is a genuine spiritual ministry. But just because an anointed man spoke over your life, just because he revealed and what he revealed was true, when he blessed you, your spiritual life went down because you had confidence that this man knows God. His word does not fail. But you ignored it is written. It is written, Kali Bakatasiata. It is written. When men say there is a casting down, for me, I will say there is a lifting up. So, based on that, when I say in the name of Jesus, you are exempted from evil, as you are saying amen, your mentality is connecting that amen with this. That's what plugs it into the power line to produce result. Anything I tell you, don't just say amen, connect it to a scripture, then you can now say amen. Are we together now when you wake up from a dream and you see me blessing you and praying for you don't just dance that you saw me find a scripture when you connect it to that vision you have given it life to manifest anything not connected to scripture does not have the life that brings manifestation you can have an encounter be in the realm of the spirit watch promotion and you return back and it will never manifest in this realm but when you connect that vision to it is written some of you is a few days after now you will really get all that I've taught you maybe I will just stop at this third encounter so anything I see I pass it through the encounter with the Son does it pass the test I pass it through the encounter with the Holy Ghost does it pass the test then I pass it through the encounter with scripture if it passes the test then I receive it if it fails that test no matter how accurate it is I dump it in peace and I don't feel bad if you tell me apostle your life will be destroyed for instance I salute what you are saying but I go to it is written until I find the same thing you said here there is no reason for tears weep not for the book is opened you only weep when the book is closed hear me there are arrows that fly by day you don't need a prophet to tell you that there are noisome pestilences there are destructions that waste in the noonday so if someone tells you he's not telling you anything new are we together now he's only revealing to you something that the Bible already says what today will someone tell you that the Bible has not told you generally speaking if someone tells you there is evil on earth in all honesty is that new it is written already told you if someone to tells you there is a possibility for failure is that new no the Bible already tells you most of the things we seek for in encounters scripture has already told us I want to succeed okay so how do you succeed if only I can see Joshua Selman I know my life will change you are right because of the prophetic dimension as written in Scripture however you can sit with Scripture this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do to do to do to do not just to read to do so it may be the doing part you are missing.
man of God what gives you confidence that you will thrive in ministry I know my mentor I know my father think again I know the spiritual tribe I'm connected to think again hmm. what makes you believe you will prosper I got a first class and then somebody prophesied to me and said I will never fail think again an encounter with the son of the living God you see because we have ignored these encounters many people keep meeting the apostolic and the prophetic ministry but they are never saved do you know that do you know that you can be in church for a long time you can even be part of the eldership and you have not met the son like it's happened to many people I'm not preaching from a standpoint of sarcasm this preaching tonight is coming from a heart that desperately loves the body of Christ and God's people generally speaking these were the things that the Lord taught me that have given me stability in my life today more than my visions listen if I come for miracle service today and I never see anything I never hear anything I can pick my Bible and read for you a scripture about healing and say the sick begin to be healed based on it is written don't tie yourself to just vi listen visionary experiences and all these supernatural encounters only become useful if they submit to these foundational encounters if you're a man of God here learn it and put balance to your administration of encounters people may clap for you while you are announcing visionary encounters but sooner or later you'll find out that there is no growth because it is not the encounters create convictions but their convictions are only strengthened by these foundational encounters when I learned this I found rest I travel for meetings and people expect to see the power of God people expect to see the grace of God and you would ask me apostle what makes you think that people are going to be blessed I will be stupid to tell you I hope you know that this is an apostolic call I hope you know that there are visionary experiences I will be surprised that I will stand and the heavens will be closed the basis of my confidence is it is written what was written the Lord walking with them confirming the words so every time I walk I do not walk alone you invite me but it's not only me that came I came with a battalion so when I came here and I began to speak and you saw the power of God manifest it's not just listen it's not just because I am anointed it's not just because I saw it's not just because something was told my ears more than those encounters I know that what I saw submitted to the truth of scripture it is consistent with the character of the son consistent with the ministry of the holy spirit consistent with the character of scripture and i know that god will honor it let me tell you this you walk in this you have received the vaccination for error now god can trust you with visions over nations and you know how to administer the prophetic with accuracy why because you know how to pass it through it is written apostle jesus prophet jesus look at the respect he had for scripture every time they asked jesus a question he seldom spoke about his encounters it is written there are few times you will see jesus talking about his encounters yet he was the fountain of all encounters it is written it is written they say this in your law but this is what i say they say this but this is what i say his first sermon was not encounters his first sermon was the spirit of the lord is upon me because it was written by the prophets because he hath anointed me when he was done he now said this scripture has been fulfilled this day let me prove to you that what is written is now manifest man with the withered hand stretch your hands now if you called him a fake man of God he will refer you to it is written let me teach you something 
before we pray, if you're a man of God here, if you know that God has granted you grace for extraordinary manifestations of the Spirit, don't take for granted that the people who you are ministering to understand what you are saying. Show them the scriptural basis of that operation before you begin it, or at least before the end of that operation. You see me do it most times. Because if you do not see it from a scriptural standpoint, the devil may deceive you into thinking this is just superstition. Are we blessed? I have taught you an encounter with the spirit of wisdom, with favor. My life today is full of convictions. I don't teach things I don't believe. I don't teach things I'm not confident on. But my greatest encounters, brothers and sisters hear me, my greatest encounters are not my encounters of Jesus, as wonderful as they are. My greatest encounters are not the encounters where I saw a crowd, of, a crowd of people. It's not an encounter with all of these saints of old. I only say those things sometimes to encourage you. The foundational encounters in my life that I respect and I honor, that have helped to shape this grace and have produced this that is a wonder and a blessing to the world today, is not just that vision. It's an encounter with the Son of the living God. His life that is at work in me. An encounter with the office and the person of the Holy Spirit. Giving me direction, helping me and guiding me part time. Investing the presence of God upon my life. Then an encounter with the word of God. Teaching me the character of the Christ and the modus operandi of the kingdom. The assignment of the anointing is to make sure the word of God does not look like a lie. I've taught you this without the, an encounter with the word of God you don't need anointing you cannot truly operate the anointing in isolation it will mislead people the assignment of the anointing is to validate what was said so if nothing has been said the anointing has no ministry understand this if the Lord says let the sick be healed and I declare it as his servant the anointing moves to validate that claim Apostle, I want to be anointed. See how Jesus anointed people in the Bible. He spent time teaching them doctrine. He taught them scripture. And then one encounter they had. Now they had the grace to validate these things. Many of you, if I drop a Bible here and I drop a bottle of oil, you would jump at the bottle of oil. Even if it breaks on your head, you will still be laughing with the injury on your head because you believe you encountered the anointing. Please return back to the place of scripture. Sit down with your Bible. Start reading it like you did before. I've hardly seen anybody bring me a Bible and say pray on it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. Please don't, you, if you have your bottle of oil, say no problem, I'm going to pray on it. But I'm saying we have to be careful. I've not seen anybody buy a clean King James Bible. And say, Apostle, please pray on it. That God will open me up to the mysteries of the kingdom. No. But people have brought all kinds of things. People have brought sticks. People have brought uh, uh, water. People have brought handkerchiefs. Um, they are sincere people. I'm not saying they are wrong. People have brought sand. People have brought shoes. People have brought photos. People have brought food. People have brought all kinds of things. Where is the Bible here? It's not necessary. I just need a prophetic action immediately. Apostle, I had a dream. In that dream, I saw myself coming with oil and now I have come with it physically. I agree and I'm going to pray for you. Don't feel bad. I'm not being sarcastic. Okay? So what makes you think that this oil is going to work because you will anoint it? No. 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 The oil is not anointed because I lay hands on it. The oil is anointed because I lay hands on it with the understanding that the empowerment comes from scripture. So where you keep your anointing oil, where you kept your sand, where you kept your, your candle or whatever, just push it and put a Bible there. Don't ignore those things. Put a Bible first. Most believers would prefer 
to buy jars of oil jars of handkerchiefs and if you tell them okay what are you going through things are not working in my life listen to this message and then when you listen to this message get this scripture you see them smile at you and live with disappointment as though god punished you i came and i stood here this is what you are doing because god anointed you but the moment you come and you say kneel down turn stand up ah what is this they now begin to say something is going on ah goodness so my my case listen i'm not mocking the prophetic i'm only giving you wisdom There are times that I've prayed for people and I said, it's done. They didn't believe it. They stood there. Abba, it's done. With what I saw, I saw these guys rolling up and down and you just touch me and say, you are distracted. Just focus on me and pray for me with all your heart. May God give us growth and maturity in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray. I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the Lord now listen two disclaimers one you must be wise in communicating what you have heard tonight don't go around tearing down people don't go around insulting prophets and apostles I have a responsibility to tell you this because there are many believers who have not understood what I've said but they know how to use it and tear other people they are not going to listen to me all the while while I was talking they were not paying attention and yet they will go and say uh -huh, this is what apostle was saying no no I have a responsibility to teach you truth as instructed by God but if and when I do communicate something that looks like I'm lashing out on people you must understand that it's number one is coming from a standpoint of love and it's coming to a people who should be matured based on scripture are we together now so some of you maybe you have maybe your church or your pastor you find them operating in the prophetic and they may even make some of these mistakes don't point hands at people you remember that the hallmark of transformation is not just knowledge it is love if God grants you the grace and you can explain and expound scripture more perfectly that's fine otherwise stay in the place of prayer and communicate love do not carry revelation like a sword and go and begin to tear people and cause injury in the body of Christ it is not maturity I have to put this disclaimer are we blessed let's pray now now that you have learned this i can release the grace for encounters upon you and i know that i did not make a mistake because now you know how to decipher encounters you will be surprised that after this prayer as i speak over your life many of you will step into strange dimensions of the prophetic and visionary encounters but they would not mislead you and they will not mislead others because you have been taught the foundational encounters that every other encounter must rest upon. Please lift your voice in one minute and give God thanks for the word tonight. Father, we bless you and we give you praise. The mystery of supernatural encounters. We bless you, we honor you. 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 In the name of Jesus. The entrance of your word gives light. It gives understanding unto the simple. We bless you for the power of your word, for giving us understanding. We open up ourselves to supernatural encounters, knowing we are safe. We have been pegged by these foundational encounters. They become our boundary of safety and we will never walk in error because we have encounters with the son of the living God. We have encounters with the spirit of the living God. We have encounters with the word of God, the modus operandi of the kingdom. Lift your voice and thank the Lord. No fear, no fear, no fear, no intimidation because these three encounters are for all. Hallelujah. By this teaching tonight, find comfort. If you have not yet been open to the realms of visions, visionary encounters do not stand and feel bad don't let some of us that god has helped in that area intimidate you and do not use those visionary encounters as a measure sorry about that a measure of spiritual maturity are we together now no don't sit down and allow yourself to be misled 
that until I have these supernatural encounters, I am not growing. If you encounter the Son, you encounter the Spirit, you encounter the Word, keep moving. You will move enviably to the place of destiny. Every other encounter that comes is only a supporting structure. But I tell you, you have gotten it right. If you get the sun right, you have gotten it. You get the spirit right, you have gotten it. You get the word of God right, you have gotten it. Now let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, my first prayer for everyone is that these foundational encounters will become true in our lives in Jesus' name. For anyone here who is born again, you already have an encounter with the Son. But I pray for you that the ministry of the Holy Spirit will become real for you. I also pray for you that the ministry of the Word, especially, because for many of us, this is the area we have defaulted. We love superstition. Africa loves superstition we love a lot of superstitious things but i pray for you the grace to settle with scripture till you have illumination understanding and confidence receive that grace in jesus name the grace to believe to respect and to exalt what is written above what you see above what you hear receive that grace in jesus name and now i pray for you to support all of these foundational encounters may god open you strangely to the realm of the angelic may god open you strangely to the realm of visions may god open you strangely to the realm of trances and dreams in the name of jesus christ god will reveal things to you through those platforms and then in partnership with these foundational encounters you will produce an excelling christian life in the name of jesus christ hear me for anyone here who has had anything or seen anything in form of vision that negates what is written concerning you i use the authority of scripture and i cancel that vision from your life in the name of jesus christ no matter what you have seen no matter what you have heard if it's not consistent with what is written in the name of jesus in partnership with the spirit of god we declare it null and void and for every vision you have seen every vision you have heard every accurate vision that came from the holy spirit that came from heaven and is yet to be manifest i connect it to what is written i give it the life that makes it manifest in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone here under the sound of my voice who is in error and has become an addict of visions an addict of the prophetic an addict of the apostolic above scripture i declare let there be deliverance for you now anyone who will have to depend on the prophetic or depend on visions for your confidence in the name of jesus i rearrange the basis of your confidence let the basis of your confidence not just be visionary experiences but let it be these tripartite foundational encounters in the name of jesus christ hear me any pronouncement over your life whether through a dream through a vision or even through a man of god that is not consistent with scripture i stand by the ministry of the holy spirit and by that which is written i change it now concerning your life <laughs>